Okay, if you can hear that lovely, um, in the background, that hold music, yeah. That is because I've been on the hold with Warren Tech for probably the last two hours. And something's got to go on here because let me explain to what's happening. Probably the refrigerator behind me is one of the most notable things in the kitchen. What a lot of people talk about is the refrigerator. Well, that refrigerator, okay, since it was installed, a month after it was, in, what, it was installed, we were going on vacation. Right before we went on vacation, we said something's going wrong with the refrigerator. Things were getting spoiled, like the milk and the half and half. And it had way, you know, especially half and half can have a expiration date of a couple of months. And so we're like, what is going on? Well, they came out and they said it's the thermistor and there's a thing with this refrigerator and it's put in the wrong position, but we're going to change the position and you'll be fine. And I said to Jimmy at that time, oh my gosh, is this going to be an ongoing issue? Just so you know, the model number on this is MFT2776FEZ00. If you go online and do a search for that, you're going to find similar issues all over on all different kinds of forums, okay? So... We get that fixed. It's a big process. They have to come out. They have to defrost your whole refrigerator. They have to move the part. Okay. Flash forward to August of the next year. At the very same time, it happened again. We were going on vacation again, this time to Hershey Park. Could not believe it. Lost all of the food in the refrigerator. This is now two years in a row. Okay. Third time. It happened. We are facing the fourth time. I said to Jimmy just the other day, do you realize what this week is? And he said, yeah. And I said, it, there's no way it could happen again. It's not, it can't be like that. Yesterday, two days ago, I took the half and half out and put it in my coffee and it was rancid. The date on it was September something. September 22nd. What, September 22nd? September 22nd. So Jimmy's like, oh, you left it down on the counter probably. I'm like, no, no, that's not it. Buy a new thing of half and half. He buys brand new chicken uh, yesterday, this morning. You know the smell when chicken's bad? This brand new chicken that we just got. I said immediately, oh my gosh, it's that week again. So I've been on the phone with Maytag, the manufacturer. We've been on the phone with the place we bought it from, Olam's in Binghamton, New York. Now they said we have to call Warren Tech. We have a five year warranty on this. We called the company that comes out to fix it. They said, this is, this is a problem. You've got to tell Warren Tech this is, this is a problem, that we've been to fix it how many times? I've done this dealing with Sears they've replaced the appliance. It was a washing machine. They also did a dryer too, I believe. This is my first go round with Maytag. And I don't know what to do. It's, we, we've been on all day. So we, just sitting here with this stupid thing between the both of us, he took it for when I just did that public service video but otherwise, I've been sitting with this thing, and it's ridiculous. No, because I've got to talk to you. To get through to Maytag, it was a um, an hour wait. And I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting for this. This is just absolutely crazy. And um, I put that model number in, and there are so many similar issues with the exact same thing. So, no, you you hear you hear this, you hear you hear the hold music for Warren Tech. No, you don't get it. The music that you hear is the hold music for Warren Tech. No, can anyone hear me? You can't hear me. This is Warren Tech. That's what this is about. Oh my goodness. You can't hear me. This is crazy.
Oh, okay. Guys, you guys scared the crap out of me. I, yes, I I can't get... That's the hold music for Warren Tech. My Protection Plan 360. I just want to document this. Um, consumer advocate uh, video issue. Um, because... If I go, let me, let me, let me, let me pull up the reports on this, the exact same thing that I have so that this is documented too. Let me put the model number in here. And we've never been reimbursed once for the thousands of dollars of food. Last night when we were trying to cut the glass and we didn't have ice, that's why. That was another another really weird thing, okay? Um, that was bizarre. Oh, we've got somebody. Hold on. Thank you for calling for customer service. This is Fabian. How may I help you? Uh, Fabian, I've been on hold for about two hours. Are you aware of that? Okay, one second. Hold on. It's about the Maytag Refrigerator MFT 2776FEZ00. It is a Maytag. It's a Maytag. It's a, it's a Maytag refrigerator. I can give you the model number. Okay, model number is M like Michael, F like Frank, T like Tom. Two seven seven six F like Frank E like Eric Z like Zebra zero zero. All right, yes, I'll wait here. I've been waiting for two hours already, so. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. All right. All right, so we're waiting again while he uh, checks some information. All he asked me was for my personal information, which is why I was doing this, because in case we have lip readers, 
Um, not in our, I'm not worried about our community. I'm worried about the trolls. But anyway, I'm waiting now. So this is, again, Warren Tech that I'm on the phone with. This would be at least the fifth, the fifth time the thermistor has gone out on this refrigerator, the fifth time. So, and it happens the same week each year. Okay. Okay, so what's happening with the refrigerator is since the, um, the month after it was installed, it was the first time that it happened, the thermistor has gone, um, something's gone wrong with it. First, they told us that it needed to be placed in another place and that would fix the issue. But every August, every single August, this time, every August, it happens again. We lose all of the food in our refrigerator. First, we notice the milk starting to spoil the half and half, then the meat, and then the ice maker's not working because it's in the door. And so that, that all happens, and we've never once been reimbursed for our um, groceries that we've lost, even though I believe that's on our policy. We've never once been reimbursed. And it is the biggest hassle, usually happens when we're going on vacation, and it's ridiculous, and I and I, I don't want it. And I spoke to Maytag, and I spoke to the company where we bought it from, and I spoke to the technicians that come to fix it each time. And they said to tell Warren Tech that this is a lemon now. It's been fixed over four times, and I want a new appliance. Right. I just need to start Okay. Checking the records. Here in the system. So in this case, about this. You have to file a claim. Um, uh, well, it has four repairs, but those four repairs was in the term of uh, less than 90 days, right? The no limit warranty uh, needs that each of the repairs be you wait 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 so what you're saying what what you're saying is because each repair is more than 90 days from the last one yes. that's not true that's not the law why don't you read the law that's not the law in New York State Yeah. No. No, I don't have the con I don't have the contract with me. What are you saying? You're going to send someone else to replace this for a fifth time? Well, did you agree? I don't know. Yes. because we can cover the technicians go to your home. Also, you can send again the food log the train to after the technicians go to your home. And, uh, well, we will start with the process, right? I, I, I cannot even understand what you're saying. I really can't, sir. You're, you sound so muffled, and, and I'm on a landline, and you sound so muffled and so staticky. I can't even understand what you're saying. A little bit. You're still very staticky. Oh, well, that is, that is, that is, that is terrible. Well, I'm telling you, Caroline, that I could help you filing a claim in this moment for your, uh, for your refrigerator, for sending some technicians to help you with this, in this case. Okay, that's weird. Did you just put like a voice changer on? I'm sorry? I don't know if you put a voice changer on because it made you sound like a woman or something. It was really freaky out. Okay, never mind. Let's just go on. So you're going to, you're going to, 
I'm Why sorry? Okay. Okay. It sounded like you put a voice changer on. I had a I had someone from Jamaica do that on a scam, so it freaked me out. Okay. Anyway, what are we doing? You're going to file a claim, and you're going to send the technician out. What about all the food that I'm losing? I need something for dry ice right now. When are you going to get this technician to my house? And then what? I'm not going to do this every August. I don't enjoy doing this every August. I understand you very well. Uh... Caroline, and I hope that this be the last time that this... It's not going to be the last time, and I'm not going to accept it. I'm not going to accept it. This There is a New York Lemon Law, and I'm not going to accept this. Yes, and I understand the no lemon warranty, but as I told you a moment ago, it is not under the terms and conditions... It doesn't matter about the terms and conditions of your contract. Do you understand that? You're not allowed because it's unethical. I understand what you're saying, but, well, if you purchase a contract with us, you have to be under the terms and conditions that you purchase in this contract. If you want, Caroline, we can send you a copy of this contract. What are you going to do? I want a technician here by the latest tomorrow. I want compensation for all of the food that I've lost in the last four times this has been repaired because you haven't compensated me for anything, and that's in the contract, sir. And you know what? I want this repaired tomorrow. And I'm going to then, excuse me? I'm so sorry. I'm going to check for the soonest appointment that I have in the system for you for getting, well, the, the sooner appointment for you, okay? Could you please stay on hold? I'll be right back with you just for asking some routine questions. Well, while, while, while you are waiting and going to check that, check on all of the compensation I'm due for the last four times. And I also need you to check on getting me something here to hold this food and for us to have new food that we need to buy stay fresh. Because I'm sorry, we have a family. I understand you very well. As I've been telling you, in the terms and conditions that we have, we have a food loss. So this food loss can be, uh, this request can be sent by you after the technician go and check the refrigerator with the... With How come I was never given the food loss at, for the last four times? Oh, well, this time, well... No, 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 no. Not this time. We're going to take care of the four other times first. Okay, well, as I've been telling you, I'm going to send a uh, food loss from the previous time, right? Right. First, I'm going to schedule you the appointment, right? And then I will schedule, uh, well, the previous time claim, okay? Could you please tell me what is, what was the previous purchase? I just told you what the issue was. All of our food is going bad. The refrigerator isn't cold. The thermistor is again not working. We have no ice being made and all of the food is spoiling in the refrigerator. It's personal use. Okay, I'm going to tell you uh, where the phone number is. 
Yes, that's the correct phone number. Yes, that's the correct phone number. I cannot hear you at all anymore. Okay. Did you tell me that this was for personal use? Is that correct? I did tell you this is for personal use. That is correct. An accident did not occur. Okay. Thank you. Now, you're telling me that this refrigerator, this is just a... It's right. right, it's not cooling. Correct. Uh, you told me that you did stop cooling today and that the food that you have here is not... It's not good. The chicken smelled atrocious. Okay, we had to get rid of it. The half and half is sour. The milk is going sour. The ice isn't being made. And everything else is going bad. Right. We've gone over it several times, so you should have it correct. Okay, yes. I have it correct. Is your name Mark Ashley? No. Oh, okay. That's not my name. Okay. Right. Well, I have here, uh, well, the soonest appointment that I have here in the system is from before the next Thursday. Oh, right? that's good. Next Thursday. That's so convenient. What am I supposed to do in the meantime? So do you agree with this appointment? No, I don't agree with no, I don't agree with that appointment. Sorry. Okay, so well, in this case I have to assign this here is the our service network, which is going to look for a soonest appointment. And they will contact you to tell you when it is going to be. What am I supposed to do in the meantime? Well, uh, Caroline, I'm so sorry for all the inconveniences that you have been having with this refrigerator and all the things that are inside. But in this case, well, we need uh, just to schedule an appointment with uh, service center. In that case, uh, if we don't have uh, an appointment that you are uh, that you agree with, we need to uh, send this to our service network for them to find a uh, correct appointment for you. Oh, that's good. Let me just tell my let me tell my kids that they're, we're not going to have any food in the house for a while. Okay, kids, we're not going to have any food in the house for a while because we're not going to have a refrigerator that works. Okay. Why? Oh, because they can't get us an appointment until next Thursday. Does that sound good with everybody? No. Okay. My kids said that doesn't sound good. Okay. Well, they, they like to eat. You know, they like to eat. My son is very thin. He's very, very skinny. Um, my kids are skinny. They need to eat. I just can't, you know, not have the stuff they need in the house. Oh, right. So what are you going to give us, like a big, um, are you going to give us a, 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 like, cut us a check for dry ice until next Thursday for us to keep our food fresh that we buy, that we have to replace? Okay. I am so sorry for hearing that. I will assign this to our service network, and I will I'll, uh, and I will write all the comments there about all the things that you are telling me for them to look for uh, the soonest appointment and get in contact with you, Caroline. Is that good for you? No, because it's um, after five o'clock, and I've wasted um, most of the day on the phone waiting on hold and now what everything's going to be closed all the service centers so you're going to say i'm going to wait till tomorrow to find out about an appointment and yet what do i do about food for my family well they tell you i'm so sorry for saying that we're doing everything we can and this is well let's take okay sir i'll make this real easy on you really easy 
put that Thursday appointment in the books right now and now tell me what we're going to do in the meantime. Okay, so you are agree with the Thursday, next Thursday, out of the 21st, this appointment? I said put that appointment down. Now tell me what we're going to do about the food. Okay, just, just for confirm, Caroline, please, could you tell me if you agree with this appointment or do you... Is that on your script? Is that on your script you need to say that? A confirmation from you for this appointment. Right. Okay. I Otherwise, confirm. I confirm that we'll set that late appointment. Yeah. That's really ridiculous. Well, yes. I confirm that we'll set that appointment. Okay, Caroline. Uh, I have to give you here um, a number for you to follow your case. Do you have a paper, Caroline? Hold on one second. What What is your name? It's not Mark Ashley. Is it Mr. Washington? No. Oh. Well, you don't know your name? Fabian. Fabian. Oh, that's right. Fabian. That's an interesting name, Fabian. Okay, Fabian. Thank you very much. Did you have pen and paper? Uh, yes, I have pen and paper now. Now, this is the name of the service center. It is Feather Appliance Repair. I know, I know very well who they are because they're already coming out uh, for something else. All right. I understand. Did you want to know the phone number from them or should I give it to you? Is it the uh, 570 number? No, it is. All right, so, okay, now, uh, again, I'm going to ask you, what am I supposed to do with our food until then? Oh, well, as I've been telling you, uh, Caroline, I'm so sorry for all the inconveniences that you have been passing through with this, all the, this problem with this refrigerator. I hope that uh, this be uh, fixed as soon as possible, if you want. You can call several appliance tomorrow when they have this in their system and you can talk to them and ask them if they have a sooner appointment for you. No, but that's not th that's not what I'm asking you. You're the one that I buy this warranty from. You're supposed to provide like I said, what about the last four times that I did not was not reimbursed and you say you were gonna take care of that? Well, for my food I'm loss? Telling you, well, I'm checking here all the information about about the your account, and last time uh, it seems like if uh, you didn't have a food loss. Oh, we uh, had food loss. Right? How did we not have food loss? If it was, do you see the time it was called in and the time you guys came out? We most certainly had food loss each and every time. That's how we found out the refrigerator wasn't working. Well, I, I understand what you're saying. What I'm saying is that you didn't make a claim about our food loss, right? No, I don't say right, because we did, and I never was reimbursed. Mm. Well, in this, in this case, uh, Caroline, the terms and conditions state that for this case, not calling, you have the right to ask for food loss. And after a study of the proof, if, I mean the receipt from the new food, after you repair it, after you get a, a, a new refrigerator, you could get a reimbursement about the food loss, right? So Where am I supposed to store the food for over, what, what, when are they coming out? Next Thursday? What was the date on that? You said August when? August the 20th. August 20th? Okay, so that's um, a week from today. 
it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so what do I do with uh, all the food for a week from today? I can file a claim, and I know you're so. I know you're so sorry. I, I understand that. Um, but what is the reimbursement, and what about this dry ice that we're going to need to buy? Well, when you buy this new food, you can you can even pass this uh, claim after your refrigerator is uh, fixed, right? Yeah, but you just told me I can't do that on the previous claims. Yes, you want, but do you have, well, do you need to send something to this? Do you have a receipt? Sure, I have receipts. From the, okay, from the last year? Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. And do you have the number from the service center who went to your home? Yeah, it's the, sa it's the same service center. They know us very well. I make them a black forest cake and I pit the cherries when they come. That's how well we know each other. Okay, I understand you very well, Caroline. So I'm going Mark. to uh, file a claim about that. So I'm going to tell you what you what did you have to do, and I'll be right back with you in two minutes. Okay. Oh, two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've kept me all afternoon. Two minutes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're waiting here now. Um. Yeah, no, this is, this is the fifth time. Oh, believe me, I'm making the video so that, uh, you may tag in. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, I'm going to tell you what it's what you have to do. You have pen and paper? Yes, I have a pen and paper. Okay, you have to send us a list of the food that you lost. Okay. Last time. All right. A list. Mm -hmm. with, the, with that list, you have to send a copy of the proof of purchase of the replacement food. Sure. All right? Yeah. Now, after that, you have to send uh, a copy of the repair order. And okay. it's the copy that the technician gives to you. Correct. Finally, uh, you have to write the validation number in all the documents. Do you have the validation number? No, I don't have the validation number. Okay, I'm going to give it to you. Do you have pen and paper? Uh, yes, I told you I have pen and paper. Do you have a, you don't have a hearing, uh, something it preventing is. you from hearing, do you? Okay, okay. All right. It is. A. Okay, I've got that. All right, perfect. That is the validation number. You have to write it in all the documents. So I for the, la the last four times, I'm writing the same validation number? Yes. The same validation number because that is the number of your customer, right? Mm hmm Okay. This has to be sent to us to the following email address. Okay. It is put loss. But I'm going to spell the other part of the email. Okay. Amazon Apple, Amazon Mary, Ryerson Yellow, Amazon Mary. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just say, wait, hold on. Did you say Y is in Jello? Yes. I say that. Jello begins with a J. Why? It's a Y. Are you trying to say yellow? Oh, yellow. yellow, yellow, okay. A, A is in Ann, M is in Mary, Y as in yellow? Okay, A as in Apple, N as in Mary, Y as in Jess, or as in yellow. Okay. A as in Nancy, B as in Tom, A as in Apple, and the last part is group. The last part is what? Group? Group, yes. 
Okay. Dot com. Okay. Right? Right. After we receive all uh, required documentation, your full loss claim will be processed up for the maximum benefit amount under the claim in one business week. Okay, okay. What, what is the maximum benefit? Okay, uh, just hold a second and let me tell you what the maximum benefit It depends on each plan. Every plan is different. Well, you, right? see, you see my plan, right? Yes, I'm going to check it in, in one moment. Please stay on hold. Uh, okay, I'm going to check it right now. You should have that on your script instead of the, all the other stuff. Okay, could you please just hold? Be right back. Yeah, I'll I'll hold. I have nothing better to do. I couldn't be swimming or doing anything else. No, so, uh, Sincari, the store is not responsible, uh, supposedly, nor is the manufacturer Maytag. Uh, supposedly, what I've been told is this company is responsible, Warren Tech. Um, if you check out uh, their reviews, they are, they are atrocious. It's, uh, Thank you for waiting. Mm -hmm. Okay. The maximum of your plan is two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Right. So, um, two hundred and fifty dollars, uh, and to replace everything in there, get dry ice, and stay a week without a refrigerator. Is that correct? I said the $250 is to cover everything that's lost in there. Then I have to buy new stuff and dry ice and something to put the dry ice in. And that's, so that's, that's what I have for a week, right? Correct? I have to keep dry ice going for a week. And from you, the food loss reimbursement covers all the food that gets damaged because of the Right, but you said up to up. Did you not say up to two hundred and fifty dollars? Correct. Yes, up to. Okay, so it doesn't cover all the food loss that gets damaged. It covers the food loss up to two hundred and fifty dollars. It covers the food that gets damaged. Up to up to two hundred and fifty dollars. Correct. That's correct, and that and that would include dry ice that I need to keep the new food cold, correct? Oh, well, that is up to the, the service delivery assessment department, right? The dry ice uh, is up to the service uh, delivery? They, yes, they just check the information that you sent in your receipt uh, and they will, uh, they will study the case, right? No, they're get, so I have to wait for them to study the case, and then they're going to see if if the, the dry ice is applicable. Yes, they will study the case. 
Does this make zero sense, just so you know? If you deal with this every day, I don't understand how you wouldn't know whether the dry ice receipts are covered. Well, I just make the claims and the, and the specific uh, things related with all these procedures, uh, mostly with money and with, with, with reimbursement is not in our department, but it's a different department. They are the ones that study that. We are just customer service, Caroline. But it, you're not you're not really servicing the customer very well when you can't let them even know if the dry ice is covered. Well, I'm so sorry for hearing that, but well, that's all the information I have for you, Caroline. That's all the information you have for me. Yes, I don't have the other. If I say any other thing that would be a lie, so I am also I'm not I, I don't have that information, Caroline. Just can provide you with. Can I speak to the other department? Can I speak to the other department? No, we are, we are not connected with that department. They only uh, thought to ask to email. I could give you the email of them if you want. The other department? Yeah, give me the email of the other department, please. Oh, yes, of course. Let me check it here. Okay, it is here. Claim. Info mm -hmm. at right. com. At what? I'm sorry. A oh, that that same group that A Y that Amy, right? Amy. Yes. N. That one. Yeah. Yes. A Amy and T A group dot com. Amy and tag group dot com. Okay. Um, and they're going to handle the dry ice. Yes, they were. They will answer you your questions about it. Okay. All right, and um, so I just want to. I just want to get this down for my own thing. What you told me during this call, correct, is that the um, service agreement that I have through Warren Tech does not cover of the Lemon Law in New York State on appliances. Is that correct, what you said? You said the terms and conditions of the Warren Tech um, extended warranty does not cover the Lemon Law in New York. It's not, it doesn't have to abide by the Lemon Law of New York where um, three of so the same repair is made to an appliance. Is that correct? I'm telling you that our terms and conditions say that the no lemon warranty requires 90 days in each of the services, right? Mm -hmm. so as, your, as your service was made within 90 days, that it's not applicable under our terms and conditions for this uh, warrant. Okay, so unless these five plus repairs, because there were plus, I had serviced two winters, so that's beyond the two August, so there are at least six repairs on the refrigerator. The, because these um, did not, you said, fall within 90 days of each other, even though there are six of them, it does not qualify for the Lemon Law in New York, and you do not have to abide by that because of your terms and conditions. Is that correct? Well, we do have 90 days, but you're saying no more than 90 days, or you're saying, because you said they must have 90 days. Well, they do have 90 days between each one. Yes, they have to have more. Than 90 days they do one. they do have more than 90 days well I'm checking here the system and the system it states that they do not have more than 90 days okay can you give me the dates of service okay yes it is August 19 of 2019 August 19th okay that's that's the last service that you have August 19th of 2019 Right, 
And hey, right now, just on this one alone, okay, but you, did, you do not have all the others because that doesn't make sense. You just gave me a date of 2018 earlier in the conversation. You just gave me a date of 2018 earlier in the system, uh, earlier in the phone call. Okay, but that's not correct. So then we have a major issue because this had, um, I, have the, I have the stuff in my filing cabinet, okay? So something's wrong. But but let's just you know let's let's go by that alone. Let's go by that alone. You you said 2018 before 2019 2020. You just said they have to have more than 90 days. That's more than 90 days. That's almost a year. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, I indeed in the system, I only have one record, right? One record, and it's from August August 19. Okay. Yeah. And when Fetters um, pulls up the number of times they've been here, and then what will you say? That someone just didn't enter them in your system? No, it is not in my system. Okay. But you would. If you want to update this in our system, you can send an email to the same email address I already gave you, and they will check that information for you. Okay, but you're, you're reading your contract. I, I want to make sure. No, no, I want you, you to read to me. I want you to read to me again, because you said it has to have more than 90 days. And I think you're misreading it. Because can you please read that again? Okay, I will read it to you. Just hold on for a minute. I will read the contract for you. Okay. They're not worthless, Tico, because um, when you have to have a major, I've had compressors replaced, things like that. But this company um, is ridiculous. And when I had the ones through Sears, they replaced a washing machine that had the same, um, the same repair three times. They replaced the whole washer it, without any, any of this craziness that I'm going through right here. Oh, he'll come back, Linda. Hello, Fabian? Oh, look at, uh-oh. It looks like we've been disconnected. Oh my goodness. Fabian hit the wrong button. Fabian, I guess, knew that he misread that and didn't want to come back and be mortified, right? Fabian. So there we have that. Um, Jimmy's been on the phone with the people that. Uh, I don't think it was accidental, Flyer B, but it's good that you have that mindset. I don't think it was accidental at all. But more power to you for having that. If it was accidental, he would call me back. He had my number. He asked me for my numbers multiple times, multiple numbers.
Yeah, Warren Tech does suck. And so I'm going to tag Warren Tech like crazy. Um, if you guys want, if you have any social media and want to share this out and hashtag, you know, Warren Tech, that would be great. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's, it's not right. And for those that are saying, oh, you could be so much nicer, this is the 5th August repair, 5th August repair, okay? But it's not the 5th repair on this because there were two winter repairs, at least two. I have to go through all my files. There were, so, yeah, am I aggravated? Yeah, I am aggravated. I think I have every right to be, and I'm sorry that... Um, you know, they left me on hold for two hours to add to that, but I, I think I'm entitled. <laughs> Thanks, Potter, a resolution specialist. Um... So I will, um, I, I don't know what, what we got to do now. Now all of our food in there is gone. We have no ice, so you won't have the ice maker. Um, it's a good thing we did that bottle last night. And um, we've contacted the company that we got it from. I contacted Maytag. But um, I will, you know... Well, Florida Gray Lady, there's always got to be people that are going to say whatever. If you would handle it better, then, then more power to you. You're a better person than me. I'm not. I'm frustrated. Okay? Shouldn't be happening. And it's going to happen again next August. I'm tired of this. I am, I am really tired and frustrated from it because you have no idea what they have to do when they come out. And it doesn't work. So why, how, you're just going to know that it's going to break down in the winter and it's going to break down again next August. So if you think that, uh, you know, oh my gosh, it's not poor Fabian's fault. Okay, but Fabian disconnected that phone. And if you don't think he did, he would have called me back. So there you go. And that is that. So I'm going to have to get this out to uh, Maytag. And I may even um, contact Linda Beccaro. So we'll see here. Yes, Jeanette, I've had the problems for the last four years. So this will be the 5th August. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2000. Excuse me. This is the 4th August. I'm sorry. I'm wrong there. 2020 this is the 4th August but we had two winter repairs so it's at least six repairs on this refrigerator and it's the 4th August that this has happened since we got it we, we it was installed in July of 2017 and this is the 4th August starting in 2017 that it's happened there's already been a motherboard replaced on it in the door. That was right after we got it. All the doors have been replaced on the unit. That was right after we got it. Um, and now this will be about the sixth, at least the sixth thermistor replacement. So, you know, Maytag says, you know, it's, it's in their court. I don't believe that when Maytag should see that there's a problem. And that's what I was doing when, when, I, when he finally answered the phone. And I find that if I go to do something, then they answer the phone. Let me show you, just so you see this. And so Maytag sees this because Maytag, this is in your court now, I think, because if it's your product, okay, that's having all these issues. And when I pull up the model number, Maytag.
Oops, hold on a minute. Oops, hold on a minute. Oh, I got my Streamlabs fixed while I was on hold. Okay. I'm gonna pull this up. Pooling issues. Refrigerator, freezer is cold, but, okay. The evaporator coils are frosted over. This is the stuff that happens. They, the frost heater assembly turns on a few times through the day to melt away any frost. Okay, but doesn't that, let's see. Thermistor. The thermistor monitor, oh, this is just, hold on, this is a repair clinic. I don't want the repair clinic. Fresh food section, not cooling. After seven months, it stopped cooling, wouldn't go below 52 degrees. Here's consumer affairs, okay? Let's take a look at this, what we have here. We bought a Maytag refrigerator. That's a single door with the top loading freezer that failed after four years. And where's the one that? several years with wasted food at random times because my Maytag refrigerator de decides to stop cooling whenever it feels like it. This is a continuing thing that started since the appliance was brand new, exact, this is, and it has never been resolved. Maytag claims that they can't do anything about my refrigerator. They can do what they want. From my experience, I feel like the issue is that they don't care to make it right. I am finally fed up with this refrigerator and I'm buying a new one. I can guarantee that it will not be a Maytag. I would like to say I'm highly dissatisfied. Consumers be aware, anyone who's purchasing a Maytag appliance, I would highly suggest reconsidering. I bought a $2,000 plus, this is, this is my model number right here. March of 2017, so they purchased it right before me and have had numerous repair calls on it. Several for the ice maker not making ice, ice freezing in the bucket, one big chunk, water running down the door, um, several calls for the fridge not properly cooling. Temperature was set at 37 degrees, but the temperature in the fridge is 55 degrees, plus two thermometers, which they mean thermistors. Um, food is spoiling. The back inside of the temp-controlled pantry is freezing. Everything in the whole back wall behind the drawer is frozen with one, yes, and that's what happens. And they have to get a hair dryer, and they have to defrost the whole thing, and then they say they're moving it, and it's going to work this time, okay? Um, defroster is not working. Parts being ordered to repair an obvious issue with this model, and there is an obvious issue with this model. I contacted Maytag, and I didn't write this one, okay? This is from Rochester, Minnesota. They said, sorry, we can document the problem. They will do nothing more. These appliance companies are ripping off the consumers. Everyone passes the buck. Repairman says, contact the appliance store you purchased it from. Appliance store says, contact Maytag. Maytag says it's the repair company's issue. That's exactly what happens, okay? So Phyllis, I feel your pain. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to see if one ends with the same model number. Maytag French door refrigerator last year. Within a few months, the freezer failed, and we had to have a retrofit done. Less than a year after it failed again, no refrigerator for over a month, still no parts, hundreds of dollars of wasted food. And I'm asked by Maytag service if I have an extended warranty. I didn't, this one doesn't even have the extended warranty. We are devastated after spending 3K on a fridge means you might as well throw your food, your money to the wind. Uh, let's see here. Side by side. Oh, here's, here's, here, here is it, here it is. This is the same model too. I ordered my dream refrigerator. I had to wait four weeks for it to arrive because it was on back order. I was willing to wait. All was good for six months. January of 2018. It stopped cooling. It took two and a half, I think she means weeks, 
from the service call until the part came in to fix before I could use my refrigerator. I lost all my food. The same thing happened again in March of 2018, except that it took four weeks for the part to come in once the servicemen order it. I lost all my food for a second time. You see, this is, is the same issue. February of 2019, the same thing happened again. I placed the service call on 131-2019 for service, but the tech could not come until 2619. I think she, she means 20, okay here. The best part had to be ordered the part had to be ordered and could not be installed until February 28th. For the third time, I've lost all my food. My best friend said the appliances that are nearly 30 years old, she has them. She was going to replace all of hers and get exactly what I ordered. She has changed her mind and decided she would rather keep her outdated appliances because they work. So Jay of Dalton, Georgia, contact me if you'd like to go on here and, and Phyllis too of Minnesota because you have the same model refrigerator and you have the exact same problem. Let me see who else here. Oh, thank you, Tico. Let's get a new friend. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Let's get these people. I'm trying to. There's Jimmy, too. There's so many different sites where they have the same model number in there with the exact same problem and that it's never resolved, even though they keep telling us it's going to get resolved. It doesn't. So the Maytag commercial, you know, that you never need the repairman and it's the loneliest repairman there ever is, um, no. Yeah, see, here's another one. This is Minnesota too, Donald. The top half freezes up. That's what happens. It gets, it, it's behind this plastic thing. And you have to pull it apart and defrost it, or the bottom starts, the, um, well, in my case, the top starts to get warm. I will never buy another Maytag refrigerator again, it says. And if you look up the cooling issue... See the ice ma this is the ice maker um, stopping the French door bottom freezer loved it besides. Yeah, we've had this computer board. See this computer board that she's talking about? We've had that replaced. That's for like this ice issue. We've had that replaced too. So, and this is just one, this is just one site. Jimmy and I were looking before and there's many sites with the same the same freaking issue. So Maytag um, really and it's exactly what they said that you just keep passing the buck off to someone else and let pacify them for another year. If that And it's a shame because I really love the outside of the refrigerator. I love it more than anything else. So if they could really work on this problem, which is what they should do, but they won't. Now here's another one, look at this. Do not buy a Maytag French door refrigerator. We bought one four years ago and had a series of problems. 
Maytag does not stand behind their product. I have made my pledge to the Maytag company that I will never buy another Maytag pro product. I recommend you do the same. Every now and then for the past month, my goes on a three or four day sabbatical. Okay, so this is lights. Um, they have door problems. Our Maytag refrigerator is not working. We've had servicemen out. Say here's the temperatures. It will not hold constant temperatures. It's sad. Think it's a piece of junk. Anyone else with repair problems, reply back. No resolution or help from Maytag on the French door. Maytag with the computer gone haywire. $2,100 purchase a refrigerator new. One year later, $600 circuit board. We had that. Year later, $250 ice flapper circuit board, $100 of labor. See, this is, this is without a warranty. Um, year five, water button stops working. Okay, so it cost them $700 a year to maintain that. Uh, it's the second one in 16 and a half years at the road drain. Spoiling, see, it's spoiling milk. That's exactly what, that's the first sign, is the milk and the half and half. The fridge has been serviced. The fridge only cools to 45 degrees. We've had it the coldest temperature, but it doesn't cool lower. The milk goes bad. Um, fridge door. I've had three major problems with it. French door. French door fridge broke twice. But there's major cooling issues, and the, the guys from Fetters, which is the repair company, told us that it does. Okay? Two new compressors, one new evaporator, only to have it fail again. Maytag could not care less. Do not purchase Maytag. So there's plenty of consumers here who are pissed. Bought a Maytag French door fridge. The ice maker has gone out. Now we're getting that annoying power outage alarm. So we've had the circuit board. See? The, the, a cooling issue again in the French door. Everyone is having the same issue. See this? Maytag never again. Maytag ice maker problems is right. My product broke. So here I am trying to research and disbelief. Everyone is having the same issue. How much is this going to cost me? It has been a little over one year. I'm not worried. I have a warranty. It's not the cost. It's the aggravation. It's It, it shouldn't be happening. There's something wrong. They're not worth it. The warranty in the fridge should last more. Okay. Very angry. Purchased a... French door fridge, replaced ice maker last year. Guess what? It's not working again. It ices up. This is the cooling issue. I wish Jimmy had, he probably does have a picture of it. It's crazy. Goes out and quits every time we have bad weather. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can just go on and on and on. So, Maytag, there's a serious, serious issue with this, and I hope that you address it. If anybody listening has a similar issue with the thermistor, can you contact me at carolyn at truecrimechat.org? where we can perhaps go on panel and tell the story of what you've been through with your refrigerator because I'd like to help you as well as resolve this and the more people we can get on board with the same issue. So you could come right on a Zoom and you could just go down the line of when you bought it, you know, what's going on, what's how it's been resolved for you. And I think the more people that get here, it's going to be way better than a message board where you've got to go on all these different message boards because then we can all share it, tag it, send it to all the consumer advocates on all the major stations and um, do something about it because there's got to be anybody that's listening. You might be in the chat now. I don't know, but it may be somebody listening later that's looking it up and I will put 
Um, I have to put the title to fit that, but let me know. This is a brand, Maytag, yes, Jeanette. Whirlpool French door, it's horrible too. It runs okay, but the seal started ripping and it spots. Well, you know that they're all under the same um, umbrella, isn't it? Uh, Maytag, Whirlpool, KitchenAid. You've never heard about Warrantech. And then if you've had a Warrantech issue, that's also would be here. Um, Deborah says the, the horrible... When I get a new one, I'm not going for anyone with the French doors. I don't, you don't have, is it the ice and water and door models that are met? I'm not sure, Mia. It, it's... Let's see if someone's wondering if Maytag is like Sears. We got a dream refrigerator. The compressor went up in four and a half years. Out the door it went. Replaced it with an eight hundred. Oh, really? Oh, Skipper, joining T code. Get. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's not, thank you, Skipper, I appreciate it. Um, but it's it's the point that I have a warranty, but it shouldn't be happening, right? It shouldn't be happening this many times. Bypass the peons and go straight to the supervisor. Yeah, but I, I, I don't even think um, they're caring. I think the more people that get together, so again, I'm going to say it again. If you have a Warren Tech issue, okay, Warren Tech, Maytag, let me know. I'd like to get you on a panel where you can just come on and, and talk about it because both things are wrong. There's an obvious flaw in the Maytag in the thermistor. There's a flaw with the ice maker board, the circuit board. Um, and there's definitely an issue with Warrantech customer service. Now I'm getting a call. Wouldn't that be funny if it was Warrantech? Hold on. That wasn't Warrantech. That was like a faker. Um, this is Kristen and I'm a health something calling on behalf of whatever. But... If somebody has an issue and you're listening to this later, please call me because I'll get you on and you can talk about your issue and the more of us and um, you can just email me. Here, I'll put my email in and we can see if we can help each other out because I think the more voices, the louder it'll be. Um, And like I said, I will handle other consumer issues too. If you have another consumer issue that you're getting jerked around on, just email me with consumer issue in the um, subject. But you do have to have your documentation. You do have to have, you know, what's going on. And you do have to come on and talk about it. But then I'll help you. Just email me there. Um, if you have a Maytag issue with your refrigerator, if you have a Warren Tech issue. <sighs> so we'll see. They want you to buy another one, but I have a warranty, so I would be stupid because I have a warranty for a couple more years on this. You just put it, you love them. This is my only Maytag appliance. My only Maytag appliance. I have a KitchenAid dishwasher, which is um, under that same umbrella because it's Maytag, it's Whirlpool, it's KitchenAid. Knock on wood, I've had good luck with the KitchenAid dishwashers.
but his was under, well, Florida Gray Lady, there, there needs to be a recall on the thermistor. From the first time they put it in, they said that it was placed in the wrong location. But I don't know, I guess we have to go out and buy dry ice now and um, call the other place tomorrow. Jimmy called them earlier and they said, you've got to call um, Warren Tech, but they know and they'll vouch for it how many times they've been here. See, they're, they're, they try to be swift and say, oh, I only have two cases in here. No, you don't. And then he read it wrong. And that's why I wanted him to reread it. Their shares have plummeted. Yeah. Jimmy? Okay, we're on live. We're live. Okay, so you want to hear this? Yeah, me and Kate. They said that, okay, they said that they can't come until August 20th. Um, and then you could call that place tomorrow, Fetters, and see if they can come earlier that they only have one other repair on the refrigerator in their books, which is a lie, mm -hmm. right? right? Okay, and then when I asked him to read the le like how it relates to the Lemon Law, they said, well, he said, it has to be more than 90 days for each repair. And I said, can you read that again? Because they are more than 90 days. And then he did a fake disconnect. So, um, yeah. mm-hmm. So he's lying, and he didn't call back, and he had all the numbers. That is just enough. Feel like three times. I know, and we even had a we had two winter repairs besides all yeah, the August yeah. ones. Then we had another guy from out here, uh, and that might be the dishwasher guy. That no, one. and we had a, we had the that guys from Olam's too at first. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll try to get all the documentation here. Yeah? yeah, but mm -hmm. uh, this is ridiculous. Yeah. It's okay, crazy. and they crazy. said, and then they gave me all the information for the food loss, and it's like jumping through ninety thousand hoops. That Maytag would, would sell a product that they said kept, you know. Uh, remember, they said they were trying to get it right. They said the first thing was I the told you from the, the wrong side I said of the from thing the beginning. That. From the beginning, oh it was, it was but, never going to be right. The guy from Fetters knows, but I, I you know, I, I don't know if he would, uh, you know, go. Uh, he, he, you know, he 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 talked to me on the phone, and I I don't think he must grab on the limb. I don't want to put him out on a limb for what he said, but you know. They, um, um, they, the, they have a bad track record. Who, Maytag? Yeah, that particular, that particular model. Yeah, well, we know that. You can see it online, right? So he's not going out on a limb saying that. It's right online. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, so, I'll talk to you, you about it later. I'll yeah. tell you everything, so. Mm -hmm. I'm going out here. We're hitting a couple balls, honey. I, yeah. I got the ramp up over there. I put, yeah. uh. Uh, I did a couple other things. In the lattice? Yeah, the lattice. And then uh, I am, uh, look how you color, the color of the, I guess because it's light Jimmy, outside. It's because it's light outside and it's dark behind me. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I it's not, it. I'm not, nobody's caring about what I'm it. talking about a refrigerator. I can't, I know. I know okay. we're talking about a refrigerator. I'm just saying, talking about the color. Okay, Let's well, see. I'll, t I'm going to yeah. get off anyway. But anyway, that's okay. it. Yeah. Um, Hello, everybody. So my wife had a rough day. With these folks, I guess you know they. Uh, I've wasted my entire day, and I have a I have a video that I'm working on about uh, the woman that disappeared from Kansas, and I have the video, and I couldn't because I was on hold with these jerks all day. It's ridiculous. You had me. I was on hold for a long time with them outside myself. Remember? Yeah. Okay, honey, want to go back out here and get the weight for me? Okay, so that's it. Uh, so. Anyway, um... I mean, the kids want to hit some golf balls out into the woods. Yeah, they, well, they, they just want to keep fixing it, Marcy. They just want to keep fixing it over and over and until the warranty wow. runs out, and then, then I'll just have to buy a new refrigerator is what they want to do. Right? I'm just trying to see something. Uh, I don't know. 
Mary said, Carolyn, I just verified that the CEO of Maytag is reachable at this number. His name is Mark Bitzer. Uh, thank you for that, Mary. So Mark Bitzer, if you're listening to this, I'll take down his number, Mary, thanks, and I'll see what happens. Um, But it's wrong because there's, there's so many other people. And remember, you're seeing only the people that have gone to the internet to complain. You've been told to buy a new one. But yeah, well then give me all the money back on my warranty, right? I need the elastic edges part of the edges of your door. Is it a Maytag? They're made in Amana, Iowa. Okay. What but why are they why are there constant complaints on this? Whirlpool is the leading yeah, they Whirlpool, KitchenAid, Maytag, Amana, Gen Air and Consul. Console. Oh, Marcy, are you Shanann's friend? Yeah, it's a sad day today, right? A sad anniversary. Not a not a not a day that anybody wants to uh, have to deal with. It's, nobody should have to deal with this day. You know what I mean? It should never have happened. Prayers for her family and friends. It's horrible. Hmm. You're getting estimates for now because of storm damage your homeowners doesn't cover that peggy our homeowners covered our roof and the hail damage we had to fight for it they'll try to shyster you like crazy and say that it just replace like this or that you've really got to know what you're doing there you had a chest freezer oh gosh i imagine just the chicken from last night to this morning was atrocious the smell it's okay, Liz, we're here. If you have an issue, write it to, you know, write me an email. We are here. We want to do some consumer advocacy, do some positive stuff that helps people. And like I said, if anybody is listening and you have a Maytag issue, let me know. Send me an email and then we can get on a panel. Call customer service. I I, ha, I did call customer service. Your homeowners might are getting estimates and will be turning. I don't know how much they'll cover. It's an old roof. If you have, um, it depends on the kind of homeowners. If you have replacement and your roof is damaged, they have to replace it at the replacement value. Okay. Um, our roof was replaced and it was, uh, our roof was knock on wood. The one we had was um, almost 30 years old. It was the original roof. There was never ever a leak in it or anything. I was so scared to replace it. It had architectural shingles. It looked good still. Uh, the hail came and then took all the minerals off of it. And they replaced the entire thing because that's the way our homeowner's policy was written. So check it out, Peggy Kay. Don't let them feed you a line that because your roof is, if you have that full replacement, and it doesn't matter. They have to replace it to what it was when it was installed. That's how our policy reads. Because ours was in perfect condition. Like we had no patches, no, no leaks, nothing. Yeah, but a new roof, it, uh, depending on your house, it could cost a lot more than that.
and depending on what kind of shingles you have and all that. LG compressor issues ended up. You know, speaking of a class action lawsuit, that's another thing that maybe you should know about. There's a site where you can check out class action lawsuits. There was one about when, when they were giving us calls about those stupid resort calls. Hi, Pipple Sleuth. And my daughter told me about it, and she said to me, you could check if your number was there. And this was about, I don't know, a year ago or so. And I checked if my number was there, and my, she said, Mom, your number's there. It took me two minutes to fill it out, and yesterday I got a check in the mail from, from that class action lawsuit. So if you've never done that, um, check that out. Maybe we should go over it in a live about the class action lawsuits that are filed that you can get on and you know get, get a check back for your trouble that they've caused you. Pitbull, my uh, refrigerator has gone out for um, the 4th August in a row and probably the 6th time overall for the same issue. Oh, you both had lupus and, and after watching. Oh, really? Sorry to hear that, Marcy, but glad that you seem to be taking charge of that. You just received a phone? Yeah, way, yeah, way. I, I believe it's, uh, the check I got yesterday was close to $30, but I think it's gonna be for each line because they called my cell phone, they called our home phone, and they called Jimmy's cell phone. And so I, we got the check yesterday, and it's just, I've, I've heard that for a while now. There's all kinds of class action lawsuits, and it literally takes two minutes. I've only ever received, yeah, Peggy, it all depends. Um, there was a class action lawsuit on that deck over stain you know the deck over stain and people were getting hundreds of dollars back you provide your receipts and everything and yes that there, there are d depends on what the lawsuit is if that but that's a telephone call they bothered me i'll take a check for thirty dollars you got a check Kristen, for falling for the kevin trudeau idiot oh really see like why why not you know what i mean it literally takes a minute yeah marcy absolutely used to walk to the neighbors for guidance play video games no, Ellen, it, it all depends. Some can be several hundred, some can be, you, it depends on what kind it is and what, you know, how much the deck over stuff was hundreds of dollars. I don't know about Ralph Nader, but there's there's ones that I that I know, like um, Bacaro on your side, over here by me, American Eagle unauthorized text and got $250. You see that? That's This is some of the stuff that I'd like to help others with because there's people, you know, that don't understand this. And as consumers, you know, we're, we're the brunt of a lot of crap. You got $50 checks, see? So I think a lot of people just think like, oh, it's too much of a hassle or I don't know where to go for that. So maybe we can educate people on that, maybe have a running, maybe have one day a week where we go through the the running class action lawsuits. You know what I mean? Um, but I'd rather I'd rather do stuff like that than have a, a drama fest. I'd like to help people. I'd like to use the platform to help people. And I think we could do great things. How how do consumer advocate? you know, reporters and everything. What, why are they there? Because they help people. Um, yeah, 
You got $90 from Justice because they, yeah, you, you would be very surprised. There's one on the, um, the Vitamix because of like this stopper thing. Yeah, you just received a phone call that your daughter's little cat. Oh, wonderful, Pitbull. That's great news. No drama, please. We don't need drama. Drama you need when you don't really have anything else, I think. I don't know. Uh, there's so much more I'd rather do um, than, than drama. I'm not about that. I'd rather help people. So we could go over class action lawsuits. Hey, Tiffany Bean. But that's it. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just pissed about this again because now it's like, and I knew something yesterday because when I took the mozzarella out of the there, it wasn't the right way. And now it's just crazy. But again, I'll say it again. If you have a Maytag and you're having the same issue, please get in contact with me. If you're having any warrant tech issue, please get in contact with me. And then if you have any real consumer issue where you're not getting resolution, get in contact with me and we'll, we'll get it out there. Thanks, 80s girl. Hi, Trina. How are you, Trina? Absolutely, Marcy, yeah. And prayers for uh, Shanann's family. Marcy is a friend. And uh, prayers for her friends and family. It, today is a rough day. Um, it's the anniversary of something that never should have happened. And uh, remember them always, but remember them especially today. It's a very rough day. So prayers for her friends and family. Yeah, Mary. Well, so anyway, um, I'm going to go and I'll see you guys later. Um, I have another video that I'm working on on that woman that, that, uh, Marilyn that disappeared from Kansas and the last they have from her is that bridge that they've been searching all day in that the river. So I, I'm going to get that up at some time. I should have had that up a lot sooner, but I've been on uh, hold most of the day and I just feel like my whole entire day was freaking wasted with these people. But, um, all right, I will see you guys later. Well, uh, Larry, um, I do have a number of Maytag. I am going to tweet this out and tag Maytag, and I'm going to go to their social media pages and tag them and stuff and send them a message behind the scenes, and we'll see. But again, if you have had that, please, you remember. Oh, really, Marcy? Yeah, she was amazing, wasn't she? Uh, that's, oh my gosh. She had such organization skills. And, and oh my gosh, I don't know how she, I, uh, if I could be a quarter, a quarter of, the, of organized the way she was, that was absolutely incredible. It's every August, Pitbull, every single August. Yeah, see me, it's unfortunately, I, I've dealt with a lot of things and it's just, some people just, cause it's easy. It's easy to just throw your hands up. Believe me, I feel like it at certain times and go like this, oh crap, forget it. I don't wanna go through these hoops. Let's just get another refrigerator and chalk it up, right? But when you do that, all these, it's just, the problem keeps going on. So you have to really dig in and try to get to the bottom of it. Even though sometimes it feels like, you know, like this guy, oh, this is, you know, there's always someone else you can talk to. There's always somewhere else you can go. They should have, Larry. But we'll see. And there's other people affected, and that's the thing. Let's try to get those people together. If you're one of those people, contact me, carolyn at truecrimechat.org. 
and we'll try to work together on that. And then I really do, like I said, want to handle the consumer's issues. Look, Toyota came through and, and did their part. Uh, PetSmart came through and did their part on just those two videos. And I think, um, you know, we can do more. We can get more resolution. So let's work together for good and not evil. She would never leave. Yeah, Marcy, right? Oh, organizing it. Yeah, the other day I was trying to figure out. Right, it's amazing. Yeah, it was just crazy. Every single room in the house. Oh, really? A hiker rescue? That's good. Good news, Stacy. But anyway, I'm going to go and... Um, that's why you called GE over that wrong word. The manual is wrong. You canceled your warranty. Well, you know, you could still talk about your problems. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching. God bless, prayers for all, and I'll see you later. And uh, we'll have that video on Marlene. Marlene. Bye.